Stephen Hawkins, physicist at uh, Cambridge University, his um, talk about um, the Big Bang and all that, I think he started it off as a crutch. Now, um, his physical situation, his, his illness, has made him sort of uh, in need of some serious recognition. And um, purporting to be this big scholar up at uh, Cambridge and talking this thing, it has kept him in the limelight and, and, and kept giving him that um, feeling of importance that he needed, especially um, to complement his, his handicap. But over time, he's taken it further and further and further to keep the adrenaline rush. Whenever you forget about him, he comes up with some more stupidness that, you know, of course, people, uh, you know, um, you know, wink an eye and say, <coughs> this guy is losing it. But he thinks that there is no God, it seems. And um, his situation and the respect he has and how people are caring for him is because of God's commands. In pagan places, uh, they would throw him in the, in the fire, you know, because he's handicapped. But in a Christian world, in a godly world, we respect him and we give him rights and we take care of him so that he seems to be forgetting that he's benefiting from this creator God that he's trying to malign or saying that does not exist. And now that he's getting older and, and he's about to die one day uh, soon, he, start to, he needs to start rethinking because there was this, I think it was Voltaire who said that um, the scriptures are going to, you know, become antiquated and phase out. But the scripture is the best selling book in the world all times. And I, I think that this guy here, I hope on his deathbed, he's going to get smart and, and, and talk sense for the, for the first time. But I, I think that um, he's taken this thing too far and, and perhaps uh, they should. Well, I guess, you know, I guess he has an opinion and, and he has some evidence he seemed to suggest and therefore, you know, he's going to have some standing on it. But, um, I mean, he, he seemed to be, even the people at Cambridge University seem to be uh, raising an eye at this stupidness he's talking about. Some people think he's a great intellectual. But, as I said in other videos, I think that when you look at a body, it's a whole system. When one drinks alcohol or smokes or does drugs, it's not only the, the lung or the elementary canal that are affected, the whole system. And so uh, um, the brain cells or all cells in the body are going to become um, uh, sort of suspect and degenerate a certain level. Um, when the, the whole body is integrated. You just don't look at the physical and look at the spiritual and look at the mental and look at the social. You're all together. And if you don't have a, a, a good physical uh, constitution, I don't see how you could expect to have a great intellect, a great social life, and a great spiritual life. They all are affected. And so I am, I'm saying that this guy, um, I think we're giving him too much credit and too much recognition because he's just showing how his handicap is not only physical, but it's also intellectual. Uh, spiritual as well as uh, social. Um, I, I beg to differ with how folks would see it, but I think that yeah, he needs to start respecting uh, himself and life and, and stop this garbage that he's going on with because uh, that's all it is garbage. Because having read across various disciplines, I have a degree in theology, I did a pre med course, uh, I, I've done uh, like 10 different sort of majors and I can't see anything that will make me come to this position and um, everything is integrated you see math is in chemistry biology physics you see sociology in, in, in history and in other things like that so I look at life as an integrated thing and uh, if he could see that there's no religious uh, relevance or any spiritual um, dominance or there's no God I, I don't understand where he's coming from but uh, you know he has a right to hold his own opinion and I hope that uh, he, he respects ours that we think that there's a God and this world is created by a wise God I mean he could have his opinion we're not asking for him to be beheaded or anything like that so good luck brother